Hi folks, this is Steve, the Cardboard Cultist, here with another time-lapse review. And today we're going to be taking a quick look at legendary Big Trouble in Little China from Upper Deck. In this deck builder, players will be taking on the forces of evil as they try to defeat Lo Pan and his villainous schemes. In this game you're watching right here, I'm taking on the sorcerer Lo Pan, trying to stop his evil scheme to open a series of hell gates. Gameplay is very similar to other games in the legendary series, most notably the Marvel deck builder. These differ slightly to the legendary encounter games from Upper Deck, such as Aliens and Predator, as unlike those games that are pure co-op, Legendary Marvel and Big Trouble in Little China have a competitive element, and due to the nature of some of the cards this competitive element is a little more pronounced in Big Trouble. I think the best way to look at the legendary games is as a competitive co-op, and what I mean by that is that players will need to work together, but officially there is always an overall winner. Now how far your gaming group worries or cares about this aspect is going to be something you decide amongst yourselves. You can have just as much fun ignoring the competitive aspect of the game and just focusing on taking out the mastermind and beating the game. Equally, if you're a more competitive group, you can look to chase VPs and really focus on who the overall winner is. It's worth mentioning that the game box does state that this is a 1-5 to five player game. However, when you read the rules, it recommends against playing this solo and doesn't offer any solo rules, encouraging playing with two decks, effectively meaning one player plays a two player game, which is a little bit of a spurious way to define solo play. Now, while seasoned deck builders will have no problem playing solo with two decks, if you are expecting a truly solo experience from this game, you're going to be left a little disappointed. Overall, though, this is a great game and fans of the movie should certainly be taking a closer look at this one. As both a huge John Carpenter fan and a fan of the movie, I found this one a lot of fun. It's full of nostalgia and the gameplay really captures the theme perfectly. It also offers a fairly solid difficulty level with the various masterminds and schemes. In this game, I just managed to get the win before Lopan completed his scheme, but it went right down to the wire. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of what the game's all about, but until next time guys, take care and thanks for watching.